after a really long wait, so long of a wait that a lot of people thought we would never see one. But the Furminator G4 is here in the brew house. It's actually been quite a while since Blickman announced the G4 Furminator and there's been some photos leaked and everything. I actually got one here in the brew house. We're going to go through it all today. But I want to give you kind of a TLDR, something that most people don't do, and I just want to do that for you guys in this video. Number one, it is not a jacketed fermenter. Number two, it is pressure capable as it comes standard package. Number three, the retail price on the seven gallon fermenter is $5.99. The retail price on the 14 gallon fermenter is $6.99. Again, I want to say they're both pressure capable right from the factory, just as the base price stands. Since I did you the favor of not making you wait till the end of the video, do me a favor, go down there, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos because this is just about the stock standard base model. I've got some of the accessories here. Some of the other accessories are coming. But if you want to see all that, be sure to subscribe while you're down there hitting that like button. Let's jump into this fermenter. One thing I do want to mention, this unit is actually not the production model. This is one of the samples that they did receive. So if you see a few little scratches and dings or whatever on it, that's because this thing has been thoroughly tested by Blickman. It's also the unit that they use in all their photos and everything. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. They did send me the one that they used for all their photography and testing and everything like that. Now, the model that I've got here is the 14 gallon fermenter. We're just going to start at the top and work our way all the way down and go through all the features of it. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. I'll also leave in the top links in the description places where you can actually pre-order this thing. It should be available to be shipped sometime in the next month or so. I'm actually filming this in April. So if you're watching this after that, it may be readily available. But I'll leave links down below for you to be able to pre-order or purchase the device. So at the very top of the fermenter is the lid. And the lid is actually really, really sturdy. One of the things that allows this to be pressure capable right from the factory is the fact that they actually put a pressure relief valve in the lid. It's actually welded in, you can't remove it. A lot of the other fermenters out there that are pressure capable, you have to purchase a separate check valve or separate PRV valve in order to use them under pressure, which I highly recommend. I mean, you should not operate any kind of a pressure vessel without some kind of a pressure relief valve. Now it has a four inch tri-clamp opening on top and the standard lid that comes with that has an inch and a half port on top and that is a tri-clamp port and they do send a airlock and stopper with it for the stock standard model. It does have the V-band style lid so basically what that does is it's, it's a clamping mechanism that tightens down and it has a, a V-groove in it so that as it tightens down it actually presses tighter and tighter on the lid. So that's how they achieve the seal for the 15 PSI capable that this fermenter is able to do. Moving down from there, one of the other ports on the vessel is actually an inch and a half tri-clamp port. And that's just below the handle and the labels on it. And stock standard, they send you a thermometer with it. It is a long stem thermometer. It does have an inch and a half tri-clamp sanitary fitting on it. So you're able to use that either for the thermometer or you can actually buy the accessory thermal well that goes in there with that. Moving down to the next port is a port that's pretty much universal. You can do whatever you want with it. There are a lot of things you could do with that port. One of the things that Blickman does have an accessory for is an air stone so you could carbonate in the keg should you want to do that. Down below that port is the recommended racking port and one of the nice things about the fermenter it does come with a racking arm. It is a nice long racking arm. It has a nice long handle on it so you're able to move it. One of the things that Blickman did was incorporate a positive seal on this. So not only does the racking arm seal by the tri-clamp O-ring, but it also has an O-ring that has a positive fit into the opening of the fermenter. So you basically have like a double seal there. And I know some of the fermenters don't have that type of a mechanism on them. And what you can have with that is if you loosen up the valve too much, you can have some leaking out of the O-ring from the tri-clamp. So they just did that to ensure, especially when you're under pressure, that if you're moving the racking arm around, you're going to have a good positive seal to the actual opening of the racking port. Then down below that is the inch and a half dump valve or dump valve opening. And they do provide a 90 degree elbow as well as a butterfly valve with the unit stock standard. And then also included our two caps so you can cap off both the, the valve as well as that additional accessory port that's up above the transfer port. 
it does have three legs that are welded on and the legs have a really nice like a nylon composite feet on them and they are able to be adjusted to be leveled and you can also screw accessory leg extensions into the bottom of those holes to raise the fermenter up where you can rack directly into a keg or something like that. So be sure to subscribe if you're not so that you can catch all of the details on the accessories. I'm going to do another video, a completely in-depth video of all the accessories. The inside is polished and you can see the, all three of the ports in the sides of the fermenter. And then I've got another shot here with the racking arm and the thermometer installed just so you can kind of see how deep and how far those go into the system. Now, along with the racking arm that they do send standard with it, they actually have what's called an aseptic valve. And I released a video at the same time as this one on what exactly that is, so I don't have to go into great detail on this here. I'll put a card up here and also in the link down below, because I think it's a very interesting concept. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the aseptic valve if you go watch that other video and uh, let me know what you think about it. One other detail that Blickman did do on the fermenter is actually put handles in the front and the rear. So if you want to stack this thing together, like put a bunch of them side by side, there's, they'll fit right up next to each other without any kind of interference with handles or anything like that. And the handles are sturdy enough. I mean, you can move this thing around if it's full. Um, probably going to be a little bit heavy at 14 gallons, but the seven gallon one, you could certainly grab these handles and move it around as you wish. As I stated earlier in the video, this thing is pressure capable right out of the box. The PRV valve is, will handle up to 15 PSI. The only thing that you need to pressure ferment with this fermenter from the factory is a spunding valve. A great option for the spunding valve on this is Blickman's own. It is an inch and a half tri-clamp capable, so you can put it right on top of the fermenter on the top port. It does have a pressure gauge on it. It also has a highly adjustable pressure valve. At the price point that this fermenter is, I think it's certainly a viable option if you're in the market for one. Let me know in the comments down below if this is one you're considering and, and why are you considering it. So, I, you know, I certainly do appreciate Blickman sending this over for testing and review. I'm excited to use it and get a, a first batch of beer into it, which I'll do a follow-up and let you guys know how the first ferment goes. I want to test out the spunding valve, the, the racking arm, the aseptic valve, all those things, the dump, the bottom dump valve. Um, and I'm excited to, to get all the accessories and check out the cooling and all that stuff. So again, thank you so much for watching. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you on the next video. Number three. What was number three?